it's time I get off my butt and build your farm. Let's do this. Hello and welcome to the Stover Farm Channel. I'm so glad to have you here with me and it's been a while, but we're gonna build another farm. You know how this works. You send in pictures uh, to me of your own farm, family farm, friends farm, farm down the road, farm you drive by and you just really, really like. And I try and build it somewhere in Farm Sim 22. And this week we're building friend of the channel, Graham's grandfather's horse farm. And this one is going to be a little difficult. Let's throw the pictures up. Here they are. And this is why this is difficult. I've only got the pictures. I don't know where it's at, and that's okay. I actually kind of like the challenge. So we're going to take these pictures and create this. All right, so we're in the build mode. We've got unlimited funds, we've got the time stopped, and we've got a ton of mods to work on. Where am I gonna start with this? I don't have fields to worry about. This is a horse ranch. So I think I'm actually gonna begin with the house. Um, and that'll allow me to kind of get my bearings straight on, you know, a couple of these aerial pictures that, that uh, Graham sent over. So I'm gonna use, I think, Snake Bizzle's house a four bedroom three bath house i don't have a house that looks exactly like uh your grandfather's gram but uh i think this one is going to be close enough and i've got to layer this or place this in a way that is i'm trying to look here and i've, I've got my ipad open in front of me to try and get this set up so that i can have the horse pasture training area and barns have enough room and then also put in the correct amount of trees so i think i could probably put this about right there uh and this does have a pool so let's go and see if we can grab a pool uh if i'm not mistaken i've got a pool available right here Yeah, this will work. So, let's see. Let's put this pool about right here. And then there's a, a gazebo. Or, uh, let's put that there. And then let's go into decorations and grab a uh, kind of a gazebo, uh, a, a sun porch type thing over here on the left where are those i know i have some i always joke about this where uh you know i have so many mods that i end up yeah that almost would work right there it's a little too big though so i think we might need to find my other option where in the heck is that it's like a canopy. It's got some really nice chairs associated with it. For some reason, I don't seem to have it. Did I get rid of it? So many mods over the course of the years with Farm Sim 22 that it is so easy uh, to lose them and or, you know, get rid of them. I don't know if I have it or not. I don't see it. That's too bad. What are we going to do? Oh. Now that that's 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 real classy for that. We're not going to use that. This is a beautiful home. Uh, I want to make sure I do it. There it is. There they are right there. This isn't 100% perfect, but I think it will work and it will be 
as close um, as I can make it. And I see palm trees. So I'm wondering, this is in maybe in Florida? Potentially, Graham, if you know you see this afterwards um, and you're willing to comment where, where this ranch is at, that'd be wonderful. I'm going to guess Florida just based upon the trees that I see. I'm going to put that right there. And I, do I have palm trees? Do we have palm trees in the game? Let's take a look. Uh, trees. I don't think we have palm trees. No, we don't. We've got these, these like stone pines, but those don't look right. And this particular map doesn't really have anything else. So we might have to go with a little something different. Those just look really wrong. Let's see here. Do I have anything that will work? No. All right, we're not going to worry about the trees right now. Let's work on the landscaping because, you know, we got to do this in a reasonable amount of time. We're doing this live to tape. There's no cuts. If, uh, you know, it, uh, the game crashes, the game crashes. Uh, I've been fortunate over the uh, many uh, months of doing this. We haven't had a crash yet, but hey, it could happen any time. You would see it. Um, let's go. Productions, landscaping, painting. This is an alien gym map. I don't have... I'm going to have to use concrete. I know you've got on the pictures you sent me this beautiful... Looks to be, you know, brick of some sort. Uh, you know, tile out here on this back patio. But we're going to unfortunately have to go with concrete. Uh, because it's all I've got that's really going to gonna work and okay there's a little fire pit right here so we're gonna put a fire pit in I do have a fire pit fortunately oh there's another little gazebo over here too like area to sit so let's put something in there what do I have going on there what is that that's okay let's go into landscaping uh, we'll just flatten that out. why did that do that that's bizarre what in the heck? Can't have that. Flatten out. There we go. Flatten that out. And again, there, there appears to be another seating area over here. So let me go into my decorations once again. Other. And we'll grab a similar color here. And we'll put this right there there perfect now if I go all the way to the other end of the spectrum on this all the way over here I've got this fire pit that I can put down and there is a very nice fire pit on this property so we're going to put this right here it's also a hot tub over here I don't think I have a hot tub uh, that will work so we'll put that right there I've got a steam bathtub we could maybe do something that wouldn't be I mean I don't know hmm doesn't really fit the vibe does it no we'll just leave that out well let's come and do some landscaping here so let's grab our um, uh, paintbrush and I like to just use forest ground for this so we've got a garage here in front. We'll have to be cognizant of that. We'll make a driveway. And I'm doing this again because I want to I want to kind of set up the clear boundary of where the house is and then over to the, uh, the horse stables, um, the barns. And then there looks to be multiple areas that, you know, you can uh, exercise the horses. Very, very beautiful, beautiful ranch. So we're doing this first, and I'm, I'm just, I'm using forest ground here because it gives, I think, the best patina uh, on the map to make it look like kind of, you know, ground cover type of uh, mulch uh, or something along those lines. And there is a tree that goes in here, and then this is built up, so I'm going to run around like that, and then come over, and then this just kind of does this wraps around here 
and just a really, really nice area to spend an afternoon or a weekend. Uh, you know, gosh, I, I would just sit out here forever. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Okay, let me do this. Let's bring this around like that. Now I'm going to come into my decorative items in probably one of the most well-known fences uh, in the game right here. The $100 fence that is... Uh, it's just so perfect for exterior, um, you know, decorations on a home. And you can just, it follows curves very, very well. We're just going to follow around here like this. I think we will then maybe run it to here because the snake bizzle house again it's not um, exactly what is in real life but that is okay I think we'll be able to make do very very nice now let's put um, let's see we have any flowers plants yeah we've got some stuff that we can put in here so let me go back into my landscaping painting grab my concrete once again. I think we're going to make this concrete right along that line right there. And if you mess up, that's okay. You just grab your brush and you just fix that. Now you might say, okay, well, how do we, you know, can we put something down to uh, break up the boundary between the concrete and, uh, you know, the, the, the bark or the brush? Yeah, absolutely. So we can look in decorative items. There's a ton of stuff that's come out. I've actually got a small curb um, that it, it actually acts like a, um, a fence that you could, you could use. You could use this. It doesn't really turn very well, though, um, but you could certainly try it. And there's just there's so many decorative items now uh, that exist for this game, which is really, really great. And I'm hoping that, uh, you know, again, when we get into... Uh, FS25 that so many of these can come over very easily but what I'm going to use instead of an actual uh, like a fence type object that you can line up in a row I'm going to use a decorative object uh, that is exactly what we're looking for and I know it's in here I know I've got it it is called it's here, I promise, right here. So there's some like cobblestones. They're in four meter and two meter increments. I think I've actually got some like border stones as well that you can put down. Now the, 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 the thing you gotta realize about these is they, they have to be on very flat land um, or they will, they will go under the map. Uh, they will clip. So you can see there, I'm gonna come into landscape. I'm just gonna flatten this area out as much as possible because I don't want you know this area that I'm going to put this cobblestone or this uh, item on I want it to be very very flat now of course I got to go back in and find it I'm hoping in 25 that the the asset management system for uh, the map editor is a little better better might not be the right term because it's I mean it's fine um, I don't know if there's an easier way to do it. I really don't. Um, there's just a lot of scrolling that takes place, especially when you have um, hundreds of mods uh, on your game. And then I'm just going to do a quick little check over here. I think everything is still in good shape. I'm looking at the the pictures. Yeah, okay. So I definitely I've got the house where I want it. And I'm just trying to find these uh, these cobblestones again. There they are, right there. So now we're going to take this, and we're just going to make a nice right here. And we're just going to run this 
And we're going to go ahead and let that clip through right there. There. And you could always go to the smaller one if you wanted to. And we're going to try and turn this. Now, the real um, house, this has a raised section right here. Don't think I'm going to be able to do that. So I am going to just make this squared off. Like that. Rotate. And this is the first, I think, I build your farm that is not a a, um, uh, a corn or, a, you know, a, 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 and a, uh, my mind. I just, you know, when you do these things live to tape, you're trying to think of, what am I going to say, what am I going to say? This is not a field-like heavy farm. This is a, a horse farm. Um, we have no fields. We have grass, and I don't know, Graham, if you uh, or your grandfather harvests uh, or does any type of baling. I just see pastures that look like wonderful places for horses to roam. So, because we're not having to make fields, uh, we could spend a little bit more time on some of the intricate items of the house. And I think we'll turn this here. And I'll run this right off that corner. And of course, it's just not long enough, so we're going to have to double it up right here. Of course, that looks terrible. I'm not going to let that stand. So we'll delete and we'll come back in with something a little... Just let it clip through. Right there. Excellent. Now, let's grab our landscaping painting back into our concrete and we'll just clean this up a little bit can't be perfect because again we're dealing with the grid on the map we don't have uh, you know pixel perfect accuracy you can see those grids on the map where the different shades are overlapping and that's okay we'll just get around it um, and you know I might just make this all concrete right here excellent now there are you do have some plants and I do have some plants available as decorative items that we might be able to use here. And they might actually work out quite well. Let's see what we've got. Where are they? We've got pumpkins. We're getting into the fall, out of that pumpkin season. Where on earth are my decorative plants that I have downloaded? They are not um, in the landscaping tab. They are over as a decorative item. I know they are. And I can do that, but that's a little out of control, I think. Maybe that's a little out of control as well. Maybe I don't have anything that will work in here. I think this is what I was thinking was going to work, but that's that's not going to work. So I'm just going to go into landscaping with plants, and we're going to put some... Just some plants around here. You know, you do have... You might be able to get away with a couple of those decorative items. 
that I had and that I just showed you. We've got some smaller plants here. This could work. Let's put a few of these out. And I think we'll use the cypress trees instead of... Uh, I just, I don't have anything that's going to match or, or work well, um, with Florida. Again, I'm, I'm assuming we're in Florida. It just feels like it. So there we go. We'll do that. And then... I see these circular potted areas that might might be able to get away with something like this like that and maybe we could even put like it almost looks like this tree that's here is in that landscaping painting let's do that there we go very nice and then this is very um you know, again, looking over here at the, the pictures that I've got on my iPad, this is all very nice grass. So I'm going to come into my grass uh, options, and we're going to put a kind of a low-cut grass. And let's see what my options are. I don't love that. I don't like that. That is closer. No, I don't like that. I hate that. No, no. Mm -hmm. I think my best option is going to be this right here. Okay, here we go. So let's just add a bunch of this grass. Right around the exterior. Okay, so this gets us really kind of, I think, where, you know, the house is set up. Um, and now I can come in and we've got black fencing. Now I'm going to start adding the fencing in. So just, again, because I don't have Google Maps to work with here, I've only got the pictures that provided, which is totally fine. Totally fine. It's a nice challenge. I am going to use, so this is the base game fencing, that works fine, but I really, really like, um, there's some newer, like, ranch style fencing that I have downloaded, it's this, and I love it, absolutely love it, and the way I'm looking at this, and I'm actually going to do this from very high up, because I want to try and match, um, the scale as best best as possible. So I'm going to kind of run this like this. This curves. Around like this. It comes past the house. And then it starts to cut back a little bit. Like this. And 
And again, I'm going to come back all the way over here to just to try and get my angles right. Okay, that's about right. About right. I'm just not going to be perfect. I'm never going to be perfect on these, especially in the time that we have. I promise you, if you were doing this and you had significantly more time, you'd be able to do a far better job than I'm doing. We're going to make this nice and uh, square, cut off to over here. And this runs about like this. And then it looks like there is some inner fencing that I need to put in. So this kind of Again, just referencing the pictures that I've got. There's some trees over here, and I think this might kind of continue on a little bit, but then slowly start turning back. in this direction. And that's about where I'm going to stop with that fence right there because I'm going to come in here. There is an inner fence, an inner area to, uh, you know, exercise, have the horses out. And I am going to use a slightly different fence for this. I might use the base game fencing for this. And this is a beautiful, looks like, you know, again, sand or maybe very light dirt. Good for the, uh, the hooves uh, of the horse, horses. And I think I just want to... I feel like I have made this too large. My scale is off. I think it is. I think my scale is way off. I'm gonna see if there's anything that I've got in buildings that will allow me to just get a, a general sense of what my scale should be. My scale is, is definitely off, so I'm going to... I'm going to use a building here, just as a frame of reference. Something large. That'll work. And I'm going to put that right there. That's, that's going to go away, don't worry. Because I think that I need to... Cut this out ever so slightly right here. Just like that. And now I'm going to come into decorations, into my fencing. I'm going to grab my fencing and I'm going to use that Millennial Farmer shed as a guide. So I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to come up high like this. And I'm going to then try and make this as perfect as I can. Never going to be perfect, and that is okay. Like that. And we'll come over here to this side, and we will do the exact same thing. And you can just see, I was, I was way off. I like overshot that significantly. So with that there, I can now delete this. 
and we now have a a better, I think, scale um, of what we we what should have been there. And we're gonna go into landscaping painting. We're gonna put grass down there. So just paint the grass. Let's see if we have any type of sandy material. I don't know if I have anything that's gonna work. Pathway, that's not right. So we might just put dirt down. I know the dirt that you got on this a particular area looks to be very fine dirt, fine grain, meticulously maintained. So we're gonna unfortunately have to use farm sim dirt. Spin that around like this. straight away as nice and straight as possible. And then up here, this is just kind of like this. Now we can grab our grass, same grass I'm going to put down that I'm using over by the house. Which is this. Okay, I feel much better about that. This might need to expand a little bit. Let's grab our... One thing that drives me crazy, I think, is different scales in Farm Sim. You see it a lot in mods with, like, different trucks. Um, pickup trucks especially. There, There's, there's something happens where... Um, you know, you get a, say, a Ford F-350, and you put it next to a Ram, and you can just tell that the scaling is off ever so slightly. There we go. I like that. And then this grass, this is... So we need to go back into our decorative items, our fencing. We've got to fix this mistake that I did earlier with that fence. Find the right fence that we want, which is here. And now we can come and connect this over to here. So this is going to go straight across. Connect there. Do that. Okay. Now, there is another, like... Looks to be potentially like a walking area, galloping area, right here. So I'm going to do this, and this is going to run. Well, okay, it runs almost right up next to this. a gate right there. We haven't put any gates in yet. I know you're like, well, how that horse is going to get in? Well, I'm pretty certain there's a gate right here. We might have to get rid of that tree, which is fine. And then I think, I think this runs 
back down this way. To maybe there. And then there might even be a third pasture. Not a pasture, but like a riding area over here. With a small barn. Yeah, so let's see if I've got anything that I can put in as like a barn over here. Let's get rid of these trees first. So let's come into our delete objects. We're going to turn this on. One of my favorite... I've got to get out of my truck, though, and I've got my got my keys all uh, bound to my Xbox controller, then I cannot remember, there we go, how to get out of a vehicle without having the Xbox controller. So we've got to run over here now. I've turned on Delete Object Mod, and now we can just walk up to these trees that we want to get rid of and just, boop, they're gone. Boop, they're gone. All right, very, very nice. Okay, now i got to run out of the way. And go back into the construction menu. Here we are. There seems to be some type of, so right here, a circular area. I don't know how I'm going to do this. This might be a little difficult. So I'm not great with making circles, like perfect circles um, with fences. But there's a way we can try and do it. So let's go into... Uh, decorations. I'm going to use, I think, again, this. So what we can do is we can draw a straight line here. We can draw a line like this. We can intersect that. We can intersect that. And we can intersect that. Now, I got that red line there. I'm using a mod that allows you to basically put fences down anywhere. Uh, very, very handy mod. Now, I can just go ahead and connect the dots. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be better than nothing. we're going to want to probably just skip that one. <laughs> it's not perfect. I can already tell. It's very lopsided, but that's okay. Oops, I did not want to do that. I don't want that one to connect. And then we just go in and you just delete what you don't want. I wonder how you get in here. You probably need to put a... Some type of gate to get in here. I'm going to try adding... Um, Let's go into my landscaping, painting. I'm going to use this gravel dust. I think it might be a little more accurate to, you know, the, the rock chunks in there would not be good for the horses. I don't think. But I think the color is a little more accurate. So we do that. Now, similarly, there is... So there's a gate there. There's kind of some walking paths here. And this kind of walks and follows here. Maybe down there. And to here. And this is looks to be a little more like pasture grass out here potentially. Whereas this is over here on this other right side is a very nice manicured grass. 
so we'll grab some of that grass that I was using. Right here. I think it would be really, really cool in 25 or even in 22 if someone could figure out how to do it. I've thought of ways that you could do it, but I'm not a modder, so I really I don't know how it would be done. But to make uh, stripes in your grass, the only way I think you could do it is if you took like this particular grass um, paint here and you had two of them and one of them the contrast was slightly darker so you could come in and make line you'd have to manually do it but you could still make uh, lines nice stripes in the grass I think that would be really really cool and this whole area you know this is this is kind of the house area is again this really beautiful manicured grass. And while we're doing this, if you're wondering what in the heck I'm doing, well, this is a a series that I call I Build Your Farm. So you can send me pictures, ideally uh, like a Google Maps picture of what your farm, could be your farm, could be your friend's farm, could be a grandfather, grandmother, relative, somebody you like, um, farm you know, farm you drive by, just a farm you'd like to see built in Farm Sim 22. Uh, and I, again, I try to build it in the map editor inside the game. Um, sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm more successful or more accurate. Um, it depends on, again, the, the Google Maps view, what is available. Sometimes you get, you know, salad imagery and it's so blurry, it's crazy. Um, and then, you know, sometimes you get really amazing photos and you're able to find perfect details uh, and put it in the game. And then there are corresponding mods that work really, really well with it. I think this is... I keep going back and forth on this. I feel like I just I need to... put this really nice manicured grass in here. I said I wasn't, but I think I will. And this particular uh, farm, ranch, was sent in by a friend of the channel, Graham. This is grandfather's farm. So we're trying to do as, you know, my, as best as possible to recreate this horse ranch. And I haven't done one of these in a while. I was really kicking them out there for a bit, and... Um, then I, you know, I, I, I got started on <laughs> Nebraska Hubbard, uh, and I, I, I lost track of time. It was crazy. Okay. There we go. Now we need, the way I'm looking at this, there is, so right about here, there seems to be the horse stables. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have the right horse stables available. Graham, yours are gray. I'm going to have to go with something. This is called a, the Riding Hall. I went in, I looked far and wide. I looked on all the major sites trying to find mods that would work, and I just I could not find anything that was spot on. So I'm going to have to go with this right here. And there are other options, like you could maybe... You know, you could play around with it a little bit. There's some open pastures. There's a training area. You know, you could even 
this particular area. We could have substituted that with this. Now, I don't love the, the color of the fencing, and you could put this over here, but you can have fun with it. Again, the goal of this is to show you that you, are, you could uh, create this yourself. If you've got um, you know, a farm or something that you would like to build, you can do it. You can absolutely do it. doesn't matter if you're on console or PC or where you're playing the game. You can absolutely do that or do this. Okay, let's grab some asphalt. It does look like the area mostly there's a little bit of grass out front, but then there is asphalt that runs down a driveway right here. And if I pause and you wonder what the heck I'm doing, I've got the uh, the pictures that were sent to me in front of me on an iPad, and I'm just doing the best that I can to try and recreate this. And now I, I have no clue what happens over here, so I'm just going to take a guess, and I'm going to make this so that... You know, the driveway is here. This is the driveway of the of the mod that I'm using. And I'm going to shoot the driveway out this way. And I'm going to have this connect here. And I'm just going to pretend, because I don't know where it goes beyond this. I'm just going to have this go out. We'll turn that, we'll turn that, and we'll run this out. And because we get to have a little bit of creative license out in this direction, we're going to put in a gate. Something that would match the darker colored fencing. I like that. I actually really like that. Whoops. I didn't want to just drop it down there, though. There we go. The beauty of having unlimited funds. Let's put that right there. And then I think I'm going to grab my fencing that I started with. right here, and I might come right off the center of that. And have this beautiful, like... to there. And then I might, there's trees over here, so I might, you know, come off of that right there and run this down to here. Now, out here, this, I'm assuming, would be the road. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just put a road in for giggles. And the reality, it would probably wouldn't have been that wide. So let's grab this. We are on simple... No, not simple Midwest. We're on... What map am I on? I'm usually on No Man's Land. We are on Alien Jim's other map, which is a No Man's Land, but a much flatter No Man's Land. I believe it's called Simple Midwest. No, not Simple Midwest. Western Wilds. What am I saying? There is a Simple Midwest, though. We have played it before. 
Okay, now let's get this. And I think we'll do just good old pasture grass over here. And then we've got to have a physical boundary of of what we're building. So again, I don't know where that is in real life. So we're just going to take some creative license here and get this fence. And we'll run it off of this. We'll run it down to here. Uh, and I might then run it back and connect it here. And that just tidies everything up. And I might do the same over here. And again, I don't know what is over here. So we'll just tidy that up to there. I know there is a barn over here. Um, so I will try and add that. And there are trees. Let me come into buildings. Let's find a nice barn that matches. It's gray in the photographs. We'll try and match it if I can. a little too big. It looks like what is here actually has uh, roll-up doors. So let's see if we can find something with roll-up doors. I don't hate this. But I just want to see if we've got anything else. Ooh, I love this. Let's put this in here. Let's see if I've got a gray. Yes. Is that blue or is that gray? That's blue. Do I have gray? Yes, there we go. Let's use this. This is beautiful. And we're going to put this about... Just, again, trying to judge. Put that right there. And then there appears to be another type of... I can't tell. Over here, there's something else over here. And I might use this Elk Mountain Ranch. This might work really, really well. that there. Let's do that. And then let's grab this and maybe come off of here. There, and then let's put in a gate. There's a gate. And then I will finish this out. That's going to clip through there, so let's bring it out just a little bit that 
over to here. I, I, I feel like there's another area over here that you can ride. So let's maybe take this over to there. Let's put another gate in. And again, I'm using gravel dust. It's not authentic, but it's close enough. I feel like there's like another area over here. Yeah, I'm, re I'm liking this. I really am. We need to create some access points, though. So areas to actually get in and around. So we've got a gate there, but, you know, we've got to put some more gates in. Do I want to fix this? I want to come in my landscaping, painting, gravel, dust. Again, this the dirt is more representative of likely what should be there, but the color of the gravel dust is seems better to me at least. We can have a little bit of fun here too. And we can, you know, mix it up a little bit. We can paint in some things. I've said this in the past you don't have to be 100% perfect uh, when you're building maps. I used to get into a very, like, obsessive, you know, everything's got to be, like, absolutely perfect. And it's really not the case. You can have imperfections here and there. In fact, I'm going to put some, like, along this this fence line right here. Because I, I can actually see it. Like, over here, you know, there's little areas along the fence line that um, they don't have perfect angles. That's okay. That's normal. That's nature. Um, you know, when I go out to the farm in, in Iowa, there are weeds that grow everywhere and it's just it's normal and then this right here might be you know this might have some really nice um, landscaping along here too in fact that might be what it is so i'm not trying to like make it less um 
aesthetically pleasing, but I think it actually does a better job. You could come in, you could do the same thing with like forest ground if you didn't want to use that rock. You could come in with forest ground here and just have that, you know, follow that fence line. It actually makes it easier to mow if you're doing any type of like mowing scenarios. Now, what we really need to do, we need to start adding trees. There's a ton of trees out here uh, in the front of this house, of this area. And this looks to be a heavily wooded area uh, out front. So that's what I'm going to add now. And I'm also guessing there is, yes, so we need to add, let me do this. So this needs to be connected. Bring that over to there. And this is also likely connected over here. Maybe with some gravel. that yes okay now let's grab we were talking about it earlier but it it goes down just like a fence but it is a curb so let's grab that curb and let's lay it down right here As you get into the, you know, the stable area, you get a bit of a curb. And I might even put another gate in right here. that now okay the fun part we need to put trees down so let's take a look at our trees landscaping trees i'm just gonna go with good old american elms i think these will probably do what we need in here and they seem to be kind of everywhere so let's just come in and start laying down trees and we're gonna go back and forth between like there's a ton of trees out here this is all wooded now they're all the same size right you're like oh my gosh what do you do well just jump it up a notch or have another size tree Again, this looks to be, like, just all woods out here. Could be wrong. A lot of trees around the house.
And then there also seems to be a number of trees out in this direction as well. And one thing you can do, so if you're building, you know, you've got this completely open map like this, you do have to create some boundaries. So what I like to do is, you know, come in and maybe get some plants. So on your exterior area here, just start dropping some plants down. In fact, you can put those in here as well. It really helps with ground cover. So when you come in here, it, it looks a little more authentic. But I'm I'm just I'm creating a boundary. I wanna I wanna create a boundary, a border for this um, this farm. I'm going to come in and I'm going to just fill it with trees. And I'm going to stagger them. I might come in with some different sizes. And I know this area over here is, is fairly open in the actual pictures, but I am going to add this kind of boundary over here. And if you get tired of elms, you can come in and you can find something a little different. You can use these dogwoods of work and put those in here. And again, just trying to get some randomness. You've seen the maps where there are trees all in like one row and they're all the same height. I don't particularly love that. Should have put these in here. These would have worked a lot better. Hold on, stand by. I gotta find out where the heck I'm at. I put some trees down over here and I don't like them. So again, just using the delete an object mod Get rid of that. There we go. I've got other trees that I like. Go back into the construction menu. Landscaping trees. Here we go. I like these trees a lot better. Boop. Boop. I feel like I need to add painting. Come in here and add some, just some like walkways. Right here, so we've got that gate. We've got that gate there, and I feel like we almost need to put a gate here. So let's do this. there and then a gate here I don't know I just like that better and then I feel like we need a gate maybe a 
gate here, and then how will we get into here? We might need something here as well. So let's put a gate... And the really cool thing about these gates is they, these don't actually snap to the fencing, so you can just put them wherever the heck you want. And they just, they work. And then maybe a little chute right here. Like that. And then you can always, where like all these trees are, so again, those the kind of look like, it looks a little too game-like. Come in, grab your ground clutter. Could be dry grass, could be grass, could be dry patchy grass, or it could just be forest ground. And I like to come in right at the base of the trees and just do a little dab of this. We're not going to do this for all the trees. We're just breaking this up just a little bit. And then you can come in and you can grab some other types of grass. it up a little bit. Maybe I don't like that crap. Oop, I don't want that. I don't want that either. I don't want that. Yeah, maybe this. This is a slightly taller grass. So you've got these little patches of, like, tall grass and short grass. And you can put that, you can go to a very small paintbrush. And if you wanted to, like, maybe do that out here on this pasture area, you could just, a very small paintbrush, and just move the paintbrush very quickly all over the place. And you get these nice little patches. And you can do that with dirt, too. So you could come into painting. Um, you could find, you know, if you wanted to grab little patches or, like, dry patchy grass very small so like a circular paintbrush the smallest one you can get and then you can just move your cursor or whatever you're using to paint very quickly and you can start adding little details here and there little things that make um, you know, your house uh, feel more realistic. So maybe around, like, a fence, you know, you, you get a couple of, like, these. You just kind of dab in a few little wildflowers, especially here. You know, maybe right up against this, this has some... I know in the, the Graham, your actual barn right here, it has an entryway. Again, I just, I don't have a, I don't have anything that would work for that. Uh, we could do, so this is, is an entryway into this. We could come in, take a little bit of licensing here and just build a little path out. Like this, maybe out to there. And I might even delete that. And then we could put some... Uh, 
along this entryway. And now the fun part. We've we've finished all the details. We've actually added uh, some horse husbandries down. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but you don't have to actually leave your horse or your animals in their husbandry. Horses you can ride in the game, uh, but you can take them out of their pasture, their husbandry, and you can actually stop and get off them, and they will stay right there. When you shut down the game and restart the game, they'll go back into their pasture, their husbandry area, but for role-playing, it's really, really cool. You can just ride your horses around. And I want to thank Graham for sending in the pictures of his grandfather's farm. So beautiful, so nice. Thank you. And I want to thank everyone that has submitted your farms. I have been able to build all of them. I've had some really, really great submissions. I said it before, I, I, I got about one or two of these in me a month. I, I took a little bit of, a, of, of some time off uh, doing them. They take a little bit of time. Uh, but I'd like to maybe, uh, you know, start it back up again. So if you'd like to send in your farm, please do so at withthestovers at gmail.com. Again, that's withthestovers at gmail.com. Send me pictures. Uh, if you can send me the uh, satellite view, that would be wonderful. And we'll throw your name in the hat to see if I build your farm. Thank you so much for joining me. And we'll see you next time right here on the farm with the Stovers. <laughs>